so this is the first question we want to find the expression that is equivalent to this so we expand so we have 3x minus 2 into x plus 1 so we just have to expand the bracket so we multiply this by this and this by this again then this will take this and this will again take this so we expand to obtain 3x times s will give us 3x squared then 3x times 1 will give us 3x then this will give us negative 2x and this will give us minus 2 so we simplify to obtain 3x squared 3x minus 2x will give us plus x then minus 2 so the correct answer is option c question 2 the volume of a cube of h 10 centimeters is so let's sketch the cube it's not perfect cube over here so this is the cube this is the cube so you know the edges the edges the edges so we were told that the edge is 10 centimeters that is one of the size is 10 centimeters so for the volume of the cube we have l cube and that will give us 10 cube this is the same as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 so this will give us thousand centimeter cube the correct answer is d we have this we have to check whether there is a constant difference over here so we have 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 then 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 so the difference is not constant so it cannot be a linear relation so option a and b are out so we check for the next option which is option c so we have the 2 to the power 0 will give us 1 then 2 to the power 1 will give us 2 then 2 to the power 2 will give us 4 then we have 2 to the power 3 will give us 2 exponent 3 will give us 8 now it means that is the correct mapping for the last one will not hold as x maps onto x maps onto 2 exponent x not per x so 2 exponent x then we have the fourth over here we're given the expression 4p minus m over m p so we want to find this if m is equal to 2 and p is equal to 3 so we substitute these values into the expression to obtain 4 times 3 minus 2 over 2 times 3 and this will give us 12 minus 2 12 minus 2 over 6 so we simplify this to obtain 10 over 6 and this further gives us 5 over 3 so this is the correct answer then we have this equation 5 into y minus 2 minus 3 into y plus 4 is equal to 0 so we expand to obtain you know we want to find y so we expand 5y minus 10 then minus 3y then we expand minus 12 then this will give us equal 0 so we group like terms now have 5y minus 3y is equal to 12 plus 10 so we simplify to obtain 2y is equal to 22 we now divide both sides by 2 to obtain y is equal to this will go here 11 so y equal 11 now we have this p and q are final sets such that the number of elements in p is 7 so we want to find number of elements in p in your q which is equal to number of elements in set p plus the number uh, plus the number of elements in set q minus the number of elements in the intersection of the two sets p and q so this implies that number of elements in p union q is given this is the de morgan's law so this is given by 7 plus 5 minus 3 so we simplify this to obtain um, this will give us 9 
so that's the correct answer we have this if 4.5 4.5 is to 21 is equal to x is to 14 we are supposed to find x to 1 decimal place so we have 4.5 over 21 is, is is equal to x over 14 we just converted the ratio to a division sign so this will give us 14 times 4.5 so we are cross multiplying is equal to 21 x so this is the same as 7 times 2 times 4.5 i'm just trying to make it more simple so we are making it simpler so we divide us by 21 by 21 so you know 7 goes into 7 1 7 goes into 21 3 times so we are left with 2 times 4.5 and that will give us 9 over 3 and 9.0 over 3 so this is 9.0 over 3 This 9.0 over 3, so it will give us x. So this is the same as 3.0. x is equal to 3.0. x is equal to 3.0. So that's the correct answer. We have this. We want to write this in standard form. So 0 0.0346. So we move until the first number is between 1 and 10. At least 1 and 10 less than 10 so we have 3.46 times 10 exponent negative 2 that's the correct answer now i'll see then number nine we have a loan that was paid back in two years in monthly installments of 400 dollars so for the monthly installments of 400 dollars we need to calculate the amount that a person will pay in two months in two years so know that two years is equivalent to 24 months so 24 times 400 dollars in four times 400 dollars that will be the amount that a person will pay at the end of the two years so this will give us nine thousand six hundred dollars nine thousand six hundred dollars $9,600 so we, we know the loan the actual loan amount is is $8,000 $8,000 and now the person end up paying $9,600 so the loan will bring a profit of $9,600 minus $8,000 so that will give you $1,600 so this is the profit now we need to calculate the profit present or the percentage profit profit present is equal to the profit which is 1600 over the actual amount which is 8000 times 100 percent and that will give us um 0 0.2 this is 0 0.2 0 0.2 times 100 percent and that is equal to 20 percent 20 percent now we have this one we have f of x equal ax plus b so we need to find a function we're given the values so f of 1 is equal to 12 so we plug in 1 into the function to obtain 12 is equal to a rather so a 12 is equal to a times 1 plus b so this is the same as a plus b is equal to 12 now we have the second option to f of 2 is equal to 17 so we plug in 2 to obtain a times 2 plus b is equal to 17 so this implies that 2a plus b is equal to 17 so this is equation two and this is equation one we solve for a and b so equation two equation two minus equation one will give us 2a minus a is equal to b uh, plus b minus b is equal to 17 minus 7.
so 17 minus 12 so we simplify to obtain a is equal to 5 now we substitute this into equation 1 to obtain 5 plus b is equal to 12 so b is equal to 12 minus 5 so b is equal to 7 so the function becomes f of x equal 5x plus 7 so we find f of 17 by plugging 17 into the formula to obtain into the function to obtain 5 times 17 plus 7 5 times 17 plus 7 and that will give you 85 85 plus 7 85 plus 7 but that is not part of the options you don't have that much so this 85 plus 7 that's the correct thing to do so we have 92 maybe if it was a mistake and we are supposed to find f of 7 we will get 5 times 7 plus 7 which is 35 plus 7 and that will give us 42 that way the correct answer will be 42 which is c now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe